Hey guys, long time, no see. I'm not officially back to work just yet, but I thought that once I'm human again, nobody's going to care about my thoughts on the dirt that I will be talking about today. So I thought, why not just make a video about it the day it premieres on Netflix, which is today, if you're watching this on the 22nd of March. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, you might know that my favorite band is Motley Crue. And if you're not a fan of them, your knowledge probably ends there. Um, but they, together with Neil Strauss, made a book about their entire, like, band story many years ago now called The Dirt and that was kind of the book that slowly but surely led me into listening to them to begin with. When I was in seventh grade there was a girl in my class who was reading the book and I was, I don't know, 12 at the time and she was telling me all these stories about the band and whatever and then many years later I revisited the book and read it and loved it, of course. And now that book has been made into a movie. And that movie premiered today. And this movie has been talked about for so long. I kind of can't believe that I've seen it now. That it's actually... It has been made, it's out, I've seen it. And, spoiler alert, I loved it. But I wanted to talk about it today. If you haven't read the book, then you might not get all of the references and whatever, but all in all, I think it was a, a good movie if you're a fan of music, Motley Crue, the 80s era, rock and roll, all of that kind of stuff, you're probably going to enjoy it. However, if you're not a fan of any of those things and you kind of don't really yeah, like have any kind of emotional connection to what it's all about, then you might not enjoy it as much. Because if you judge it as a movie movie, it's not the best movie I've ever seen. It's not like a great piece of art. But it is based on this book. It's a biography, kind of. And taking all of that into consideration, I think they did a good job. As always, when it comes to book adaptations to the movie screen versus, for example, making a book series into a TV series, you have to cut a lot of things out. And that was the case with The Dirt as well. They cut out a lot of things. The most significant for me was when uh, Mick walked into the ocean and was flushed up on the shore he almost drowned and died. At least that's how I remember it in the book, but they did not include that whatsoever in the movie. And they also kind of cut the story before Tommy and Pamela Anderson got married, and I liked that story for various reasons, and that was kind of a big part of it as well. So for me, those were the two most significant things that they cut out of the movie. Um, all in all, I think they ended it at a pretty good time. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't know. I mean, obviously, if you're watching this video, you don't probably don't care about spoiler alerts. <laughs> but they ended right after uh, Vince rejoins the band. And I don't think they could have made the storyline flow any smoother than it did, because they did skip things. They had to, like, jump between years and events just to kind of cram it all into a one hour 40 minute movie or whatever. So the way they solved it by kind of showing like now it's this year and now it's this time of the year this happened, um, I think that's decent. Now as for the events in the movie versus what actually happened, the only thing I can say is after reading The Dirt, reading <laughs> Nikki's books, reading Vince's book, reading Ozzy Osbourne's book, and like after collecting all of these stories of the same time period, it's kind of difficult to know what the truth is and what's not. Especially like the most significant thing, it's not the snorting of the ants. According to Ozzy, that never happened, but like his credibility at the time, I don't know. That's not the most significant thing for me. 
it's the, um, the car accident. There's no doubt, obviously, that it happened, but what led up to it, what the circumstances were, that differs a lot when you compare books and stories. Of course, when you make a movie, you can't include all different stories. You have to stick to one and probably stick to the one that makes it the most interesting, I guess. So drunk driving, accident, crash, death, jail, and so on. And as you guys might know, Mick Mars is my favorite member, my favorite person. <laughs> and uh, he, understandably, judging by the kind of person he is, got like the least attention in the movie, but also in real life. So it kind of reflects that, I guess. But it's always, it feels like it's all about Nikki all the time. And that's how it always has been. And I would have liked more Mick Mars, but that's probably just me. And I understand that you kind of have to make the movie interesting for the general public. And the general public loves Nikki. So <laughs> that's probably why he is like the main character of the movie. Yeah, I, I just watched it a few hours ago and my, I'm still processing it. I'll probably watch it another 50 times by the end of the weekend, but I just feel like there was a lot missing, but it was still a good version of the book. If you like the movie and you're interested, I a thousand percent recommend you reading the book. Like, it's not a heavy read. It's a good read. It's a fun read. It's emotional. It's serious. And you definitely get more information about everything. You get to know the characters. Characters. <laughs> you get to know the band members way more. And there are a lot of fun things that go on, and the whole Skylar thing, of course, you go more into depth of that. And I just really recommend you read the book if you kind of enjoyed the movie, I guess. If you really enjoyed the movie, I'm guessing you've already read the book. If not, just read the book. It's amazing. I don't know, I just feel like there's so much of their story that wasn't told, and I understand why it's a movie, you can't include everything but I just feel like this, I hope this movie doesn't become their like legacy. Of course it won't because it's a band and they have their own legacy in the band, their music, their songs, everything. Um, but I don't feel like the movie is a fair representation of their entire story. It's good, but they deserve more. I'm not a movie critic. <laughs> I'm not a professional at expressing myself and my thoughts on motion pictures. But uh, these are my raw, un unfiltered thoughts about it. As for the actors, I think they were really good. I think Vince was the... Oh, well, Vince and Nikki were both very similar. Like the actors, the characters were very similar to them in real life. Um, Mick was not, really, and Tommy wasn't really either, but they think they nailed Tommy's mannerisms and his way of, like, being a child, adult child. <laughs> Overall, I think the actors did a good job. I don't think they deserve all the crap I have seen thrown at them. I don't know why, what people are judging them by before having seen the movie, but I think they did a great job and I think it was pretty good. And of course I loved the... At the end of the movie they show all these uh, video clips of uh, the real Motley Crue and their, like, their story and everything like that. And that was like one of the best parts in the entire movie, honestly. Other than when they formed the band. That's also one of my favorite parts. <laughs> so, I mean... Before seeing the movie, before even seeing the trailer, when just hearing about it, I was very prepared to hate it, to be disappointed, to be like, ugh, this is a piece of trash movie. Uh, after seeing it, I really liked it. I will watch it again. It's not the best movie I've ever seen, but that would be... It would be very strange if that was the case. <laughs> um, overall, I... I liked it. And... It's on Netflix if you want to check it out. And as always, I'm not just making this video to share my thoughts. I also want to hear your thoughts. So if you are a fan, if you're not a fan, if you've read the book, if you haven't read the book, if you 
Well, preferably if you've watched the movie, share what you think about the movie, or if you haven't watched it yet, share your expectations and what you hope to feel once it's done. Thank you for watching this video. I will be back at some point. I still don't know when. I keep my blog updated. It's linked in the description below uh, when it comes to all my health issues and everything. I'll be back on YouTube eventually, but I really wanted to just pop in and make this video for you guys. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, have a super good one. See you later. Goodbye.